live sourcing at the infamous Ollie's. Now, if you follow anybody who sells on Amazon, then you know that for some reason, people love this store, Ollie's Bargain. I've never really sourced here, um, just because there's not one like that close to me. But today we are going to see what all the hype is about and if there is even hype. When I have sourced here, of course I have found like some good stuff, but like sometimes just the price is just too high. I'm gonna start in grocery because I've been super into grocery lately. So let's see. Found something not terrible. If you don't have the Nepeto app and aren't using their AI photo scan, I don't know how you're sourcing because a lot of these barcodes and things just don't pop up. Like you need to be scanning the frontal of the product, especially for you to find packs of listings. Bringing me into, found this selling as a three pack for $22.99. Each one is $2.59. So around like eight bucks for three. Leaving me with like almost a $4 profit. I would FBM these. My only problem is with these, like the sales rank is like almost 200,000, not really my issue. My issue is that only the 36 sales a month, no variation. So this product of a three pack for sure sells 36 times a month, but there's 10 other sellers with a good bit of stock. I don't think it'll move quick enough for me. And I really want, like if I'm gonna come here, I want like fast moving products. So I'm gonna leave these, but it's not terrible. Everybody wants to comment on my videos. It's expired, it's expired. The bank is expired, this is expired. No, they're not, but you know what it is? I'm not the one you need to watch out for on Instagram. It's the people shopping at Ollie's and sourcing at Ollie's because these are 89 cents. So of course these caught my eye. I know the brand and they're only 89 cents. Why are they 89 cents? Because they expired August 18th, over a month ago. I'm not the one to worry about. You guys stay safe out there. Completely struck out on grocery. Didn't find a thing. Um, so now I'm gonna try like the home with like laundry and then I'll make it over to the toys. It has been a hunt, but I have found something. This Febreze Gain Spray, $3 at Aldi's, selling on Amazon for $14.99. It's a spray, so I'm gonna FBM it. I don't think it'll literally cost me any more than $6.50 to ship. Leaving me, I mean, still with barely a $3 profit, like $2.74 profit and pretty good ROI, like 80% ROI. But I mean, I feel like if you're sourcing here, that's what you need to kind of accept because you can find a bunch of units, but your margins are gonna be super slim. So finding nine units total. Found something else, again, it's not anything like crazy. It, like it just, it's too expensive. Like all these is just too expensive. So this is a paddle or a um, pickleball set. $25 at Ollie's selling on Amazon for like 52 and change like 52.68. Amazon is on the listing. They do only win the buy box sale like 54% of the time. So my rule of thumb is under 65%. As you can see, they have a good bit. Again, like over a $5 profit on each unit. I would FBA these less than 20% ROI. This though with the craze for pickleball, I don't mind betting on this one because I do think like this is a really great Christmas gift or just holiday gift. 25 bucks. Really, I would want this for like 22. 21. How about I pick up a few because there are a bunch and then we'll see. Nine units of pickleball. So much random stuff. Like it would take me hours and hours to source this store. So I am content with what I found so far. I'm gonna check out with all of these units. If you source at Ollie's, please, please comment down below, send me a DM and let me know like what do you gravitate towards what do you look at because like i said in the beginning of this video like it just seems like the prices here are just too much like they're just too much by like two bucks like they just need to be two dollars lower so leave a comment down below if you source at ollie's if you've ever sourced at ollie's yeah let's check out i mean i'm definitely down to try it again but as of right now, Ollie's is not worth the hype. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss a new video that I post every single week. As always, let's keep finding and flipping.